Agros Wade and welcome everyone to Agros Wade back in garden with me Mitchell Juno Wade now this is a third video for the year 2019 in Agros Wade back in garden if you remember for the past two videos I showed you the importance of pruning your peppers on time or any plant on time based on the moon cycle but in this video feature we're gonna go away from the whole planting pruning idea but we are now gonna talk about recycling there are a lot of things around us that we can recycle we can recycle containers, bottles, plastic, a lot of things in our backyard garden. In this video feature, I'm going to show you how you could recycle what I would like to call a cake plate because that is what it was or that is what it was used for. Um, during Christmas, my mom brought a, bought, sorry, a fruit cake and uh, it was in this container like this. So basically, this is foil and this is like a clear plastic covering. And it was like that, something like that. I'm quite sure you might have seen this before, something like that in your own home or a store. Um, and that was actually going to be thrown out into the garbage. Um, but I decided this looks too perfect to waste. This can be recycled. I was wondering what could I use it for? And little do I know, I could actually use it to plant seeds. Why? Number one, we've got here basically almost like a stainless steel base. And then we've got a plastic clear covering that will allow sunlight to go through and at the same time if it's covered it will actually store heat so i'm going to use this plastic material well foil and plastic arm container to actually plant seeds there's a lot of things that we can use to make seed um, trees or to plant seeds we can use the toilet paper roll which i will show you one time in the future you could use plastic cups but again we are trying to get away from the whole idea of using plastic cups plastic glass plastic anything as we're trying to you know reduce on plastic and the purchasing of plastic however if you have it and you're gonna throw it away please recycle it instead so I'm gonna show you how you could use this simple container to actually plant or to sow seeds now if you've got a container like this one of two things can happen you could actually plant the just put the soil in there and plant the seed in there bam bam that's done but i'm going to show you a more complex and way that you can use it especially if you have or you're trying to have a backyard garden and you're employed meaning you're working and you don't get a lot of time to wet your plants so that's why i'm going to show you today how to actually convert this material or this container into a seed planting tree thank you so very much let's go ahead okay guys so here we are now guys most times this foil um base would have absolutely no holes i've already gone ahead and made four holes in there one two three four to allow some water to drain out now what i'm going to do first um because this is foil and i would like to reduce the actual um connection between the soil and this um foil material right here i'm going to use a cloth so this is like a very thick cloth so i'm going to use this at the base of my container here to prevent the soil from getting into direct contact with the base not the side the side is okay if you want you could actually put the cloth in such a way so that it don't touch the foil at all it's up to you but i'm more focused on the base then we are gonna have some something else that's very interesting um this what are those you might ask what do you think they are come on have a guess what do you think they are anyone this is actually foam so what i'm practicing now is that I'm using pieces of foam in my planting process to help retain moisture so you could go ahead and cut some pieces of foam as thin as possible and have them placed in your um, seed trays in your planter box you could actually place it in your raised bed too if you can get a foam big enough you can put it in the base of your raised bed do not mix the foam with your soil because you don't want it to get in contact or you want it to basically prevent um the earth foams from moving in the soil so i'm just having it at the end of the container here just to you know retain moisture a bit it's not the main thing in the um plant so it's just here to help retain moisture as you can see it's already it's dripping water. I'm gonna take another one for you to see. I'm only putting four, but just for you to see. Can you see how much water is in this one? It have a lot of water. Right, so it's very good to use in your planter. Now, I've got soil here. This soil is a mixture of um, compost material, goat manure, rabbit manure, and you know, loamy soil. So I'm just gonna add this in here. Try to break it down. Oh, there's a plant trying to get in there. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> so just go ahead and break it down. 
some of them they are lumpy but don't worry it's not stones it's just that they are very lumpy but just break it down right we have this here and just try your best to get it all in there right good nice okay so here we have it we're using this container to plant our seeds i'm gonna plant some pepper seeds today um we we seem like we're still following the pepper trend this month uh maybe that's what i will do every month focus on one plant you know plant the seed prune the tree everything um right so we are basically done in regards to our seed planter almost looks like a cake itself right and then you can just go ahead and give it some water i'm gonna use the foam again Not a lot, because I have not even sown the seeds just yet. Just giving it some. Preferably, you could wet it where the foam, the pieces of foam are. So, yeah, that's good. Great. So that is that. Now I've got here my pepper. Just gonna have to take out the gloves because I don't like to handle seeds with gloves on. Okay, so we've got here our pepper. This pepper don't have a lot of seeds. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it. It don't have a lot of seeds at all. Um, but we are still gonna make it work. Again, guys, I don't have a lot of tools because you know I still haven't gone out to buy some tools. Now I know here there's a foam here, a foam is here, a foam is here, a foam is here. So I'd like to centralize it. Okay, centralize the seeds so that when they germinate, you don't want the seeds to germinate directly over the foam. If it germinates over the foam, that's fine. But what will happen is that if the seeds germinate and their root grow fast, their root will get um, connected with the foam. Their roots will be connected to the foam, and when you're trying to transplant them, it might be a bit difficult. Okay, so this is one of the disadvantages of using the foam when it comes to seedling trees. If it um the seedling grows too big and the roots are already established in the foam you might have a bit of an issue however this could be turned to an advantage maybe sometime in the future i will show you why that is the case so now that we've got a centralized area right here just gonna move the soil on the side a bit there just move in the soil you could pick off the seeds just let them drop in there not a lot but you know only thing we need is at least five seeds but I'm just gonna have all the seeds placed in there right so here we are one more just one more okay good okay so here we are the seeds are in the soil so just have it covered just a bit just gonna add some of this dry soil Oh, this soil also have eggshell. I am noticing a lot of pieces of eggshell because I do use eggshell in my um, compost. Although I'm trying to get away from the eggshell, I have to do more research on it because I feel it's going to have a negative side effect on the earthworms in the soil. So we're just gonna give it some moisture there. Okay, so we've got this one completed. Now the next thing is to have holes in this because of the fact that we need air. When seeds are germinating, they need air. So I'm going to eventually place this on there. Nice and well sealed. Can even actually protect your plants from, you know, this, the slugs. So that is actually pretty good. Ha! Here is it, I found a solution to the slug problem without even noticing. So if you have slugs and they're consistently attacking your seedlings, that is a very good idea. I just realized that. Maybe I should retitle my video, you know what I mean? So um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to have got to go inside and do it. I'm going to have to get like a, a screwdriver or something like an icebreaker and just put it over the fire to make some holes. I would like the holes to be perfect, if, you, if I might add. Okay guys, so here we are. The container i went ahead and made holes in the top container the clear one i've got about uh, 16 holes at the top small holes i'm not quite sure if you can see them yeah these are the holes i use a ice breaker 
just a nice picker and then I made three on the side three holes on the side that's 12 and 16 in total now what I noticed in covering it I covered it completely but upon removing it to go and make the holes in the top it was a bit difficult so I'm gonna advise you of a technique you can use because it's made to actually sit on the base and really grip it right you're gonna have to put one in two in three in that is secure enough the top you can leave one end a bit loose just ensure that it's closed so that no slots can enter but if you end up doing this like all four well sealed it might be a bit difficult to even with this slip here it might be a bit difficult to remove it it might be a bit difficult i have to pinch the base and then hold this it's too much so what i suggest is you just have one side down the other side down a third side three sides well grip and then the fourth just have it seated on there okay so that will be much easier to remove now what i can advise you because of this technique if you're using a foam and cloth you don't want to have the soil too saturated okay so what i would suggest to you is that at that point you wet the soil every other day today is sunday i'm not going to wet it tomorrow okay what i'm going to do is possibly wet it on tuesday morning okay so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video presentation as i advise you mom was gonna throw this away but i decided to use it for the backyard garden and i got a brilliant idea even in doing the video with this that it can protect your seedlings from insects especially those who are suffering from slugs issue okay i would like to encourage you guys of course remember backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agris way is out 